Good afternoon and welcome to Green Gully Reserve this afternoon. VPL Live, round 11 action. Green Gully, of course, hosting Northcote City this afternoon. Mike Brunaken with you for the next couple of hours. VPL Live. Gully. Sitting in the table, which is not familiar territory for them, although in previous years we've seen them come home with a wet sail. They're sitting in six coming into today on the back of some poor results in recent times. Very un-Ian Dobson-like, the form, you can say, for Gully at the moment. They sit on 15 points. Northcote come in essentially equal second on 19 points. They're, of course, part of a cliffhanger last week against Oakley. Our VPL live game of the week, that one ending 3-2 in favour of the City Boys. The league leaders by a street at the moment by eight points, if I'm not mistaken, Danden on Thunder. Did the business over Gully, three goals to nil. Down in the southeast, back in the northwest of Melbourne in familiar surrounds, Gully today looking to make amends. And as the name suggests, Green Gully. We're on the top of a hill here, and it's plenty windy. And it'll be Northcote that will enjoy the best of the breeze. Underway. Adiero goes right back. The man I was talking about, Mr. Vargas. Sends it long. Speculative. He was looking for Jason Hayne. Couldn't get him. Perhaps just a little bit choppy underfoot. We saw that one. The ball there just pulling up. Ball in for Gully at the back. It was Joel Nikolic. Not sure for Abero. Duro now finds Fisher. Deep on the left. Screw it back up. Robson. Now showing some width. Downs. Comes inside. Playing better football now. Gully. That ball inside. It's going to meet Downs. Downs into the area. Oh, and it's Paul Savio. At the death. Saving the bacon. Let's have a look at this. Beautiful ball movement. Beautiful build up by Gully. Into the area. And am I right in saying it's Savio? It was. So Gully earned themselves a corner. Nadaro will be there. Crosses it over, sells the candy, puts it in the box. He was constant. And he's in a chance for Hain. And probably had a little bit more time than he thought. Let's see if he did. Good work for Adaro here. As we see, Constantinides just fell for it. And the head on. And Jason Hain, well, he did have a defender upon him. We'll mark that down as another chance for Gully. Fisher, a bit of a party trick. Out wide for Hain. Hain just looks to regroup. The overlap, Downs. Downs shows it up, Iroaro, swing and a miss, Nikolic. Definitely not a swing and a miss for him, and then, no, oh, look at that, Jonathan Munoz, if you don't mind. The Green Gully, let's have another look. There was one attempt, and then the second, and then eventually third time lucky for Green Gully, Jonathan Munoz. Iroaro, he's had a few chances early. He scuffed that one. Joel Nikolic, the wily old veteran, had a crack at it. But it's Jonathan Munoz who does the business. Green Gully on 24 minutes, fire home. And Northcote come down looking for Vulgaris. But he's been, for the most part, well held down there. We're up the other end now. Fisher. Fisher into the middle. Nikolic, the first touch. Iteraro. Good defending there from Northcote City. That first touch, Alex Rojas just wanted to trap it and then see what he could do, turning on the dime. It wasn't to be. And again, some players falling down in the middle of the park. Savio on this occasion. Munoz, in fact, it's Vargas. So I'm going to start as Vargas works his way more and more in the middle of the park. I'm going to confuse those two. Chance on now, Kalafatidis. Goes in Raganovic. Kalafatidis just trying to make it a little cute. Let's have a look at this from Northcote City. Did oh so well. Came back, went on the right and just didn't give it enough power. Look like they're going to battle it out for this corner. It flies in. Raganovic sends it away. Okai puts it back in. And a push in the back and a penalty. Joel Nikolic. Let's have a look. Raganovic saves, Okai sends it back in, and you've got to say, Joel Nikolic, who's an attacker of great ability himself, just was clumsy, plowing into the back there. Ref had very little hesitation pointing to the spot.
Kavatidis puts it in the back. We're all square here at Green Gully Reserve. He was confident. No, we're not. In fact, as I'm watching, sorry guys, I'm watching the replay. We've been asked to take it again. So will the nerves now build up for James Kalafatidis? Will it be a carbon copy of the first? Kalafatidis goes the same spot. Vaganovic went the same way. And it's the same result. Well, it's not the same result. Let's have a look again. Because this time, it'll go down as a goal. Just plowed it straight down the centre. Well struck. Straight in the back of the net. And just on half time, we go 1 1. Thanks to a well slotted home penalty for James Kalafatidis. The corner from Vargas. Nikolic has given away a goal. Has he scored one? No. And I think we've got a goal kick, although it's Theodoridis who looks injured here. Clash of bodies, as we can see. A lot of hands up in the air asking what the heck's going on. What we can tell you with surety is it was Joel Nikolic gave away the penalty, then nearly did what he does best up the other end. And that's put one home. The support on the far side. This one's looking for Fisher. Going for Munoz. Maybe Skino. Causing some troubles. Robson. Guerrero. Eric Boot there. Unintended. A little high. Chance now Fisher. Is it there for himself? Waits for support. It comes from Erdoraro. Sends it wide. Hey, Nikolic. Oh, cleared off the line by Adriano Ciappetta. Let's have a look at this one. Northcote looking flat footed for a moment, and it was Ciappetta, his right boot, saved the day. Theodoridis was, for all intents and purposes, beat on that one. Titties. Kalafatidis a chip over the top. Is it there? It's not. It's just wide. James Kalafatidis. Still a Hulgaris. Sends it through for Kalafatidis. Happy to lay it off for Vitsari. Vitsari fires. That's well wide. Two man wall. Sanders at the back. It floats in. Raganovic turns, looks for where it is. It's cleared. So again, through Savio. And now Constantinides. Northcote City threatened. Diamonte did well to hold on to it. Will now fire from the top of the box. That one is way too hot. Munoz hands over his eyes. Comes in short. Falls in the area. Still in play. Oh! And Gully is saying the ball went over the line there. Let's have a look. The goal kick might come. Can we judge from this angle? And mm, very hard to see. Theodore Ritis, I've got to say, for me, looked like it was over, but I was trying to judge whether it was in fact over to the left of the goal post or actually to the right. Good work. Finish them the call from the Green Gully fans. Top of the D, fired in Theodore Ritis. That was a good save. He was smacked it in the million miles an hour, but Jones is going again. Rodrigo Vargas will bring it down. Okai is there. Iteraro. Better push and shove. Play on. And that is full time here at Green Gully Reserve. Exciting and entertaining to the last. We finish locked at one goal apiece. As mentioned right throughout the broadcast, Gully probably enjoying the lion's share of possession throughout the afternoon. And probably, it must be said, the biggest share of attacking opportunities, but to their credit, the visitors, Northcote City, certainly leveled that ledger a little bit towards the end of the game. And could easily have pinched a second goal. Jonathan Munoz scored in the 24th minute of the game. They put Gully up 1-0 just on half-time in the 45th. It was James Calafatidis slotting home from the spot. 
to tie us up at one goal apiece. It was entertaining enough stuff in the second half, but neither side could find a way through. It ends it here at Green Gully, one goal apiece from myself, Mark Van Aken, and the entire crew here at VPL Live. We'll see you again next week.